right guys so now we shall be discussing regarding the femoral triangle okay very important topic for all exams that is your femoral triangle now what is this femoral triangle we shall be knowing it one by one okay now if you look let me draw it first and then i will teach you if you look into the femur bone here all of you know that this is your anterior superior iliac spine and here you have got here you have got your pubic crest i told you and you have got your pubic tubercle and then your pubic symphysis okay so the center part here will be your pubic symphysis and what will be this this is your anterior superior iliac spine okay and this is called as your pubic crest and this is called as your pubic tubercle okay so this is where your entire lower limb forms this is where your entire lower limb forms so this is a picture of your thigh region so what is this picture this is the picture of your thigh region now here one very important thing you need to know is that all the way connecting from anterior superior iliac spine till pubic tubercle i have got what is this I have got a ligament all the way like this. Now this ligament which I am drawing right now before you, right? So this ligament is called as your inguinal ligament. So what is this ligament? This ligament is called as your inguinal ligament. Okay. So this is your inguinal ligament. And already I have discussed all the muscles with you. I have discussed, I did not discuss the posterior compartment, but I have discussed regarding the anterior and the medial compartment. So in the anterior compartment, the first muscle I told you, which starts from anterior superior iliac spine, what was that? That was your sartorius. So sartorius is the muscle that is coming all the way like this. Right? So what was this muscle called as? This muscle was called as sartorius muscle. And in the same way, medially also, I have given you one name of the muscle. Uh, many muscles we have discussed but one of the muscle I want to discuss now is that adductor longus so here I have got another muscle that will be your adductor longus okay this is your adductor longus muscle so two muscles so this will be your sartorius okay and this muscle is your adductor longus okay one is your sartorius muscle and the other one is your adductor longus muscle sartorius and adductor longus muscle so here you can see very nicely that a triangle has been formed so there is a triangle which has been formed like this now this triangle which is formed here this triangle is called as your femoral triangle what is this triangle this triangle is called as your femoral triangle now if i ask you what are the borders of femoral triangle what will you tell guys Tell me what are the borders of femoral triangle? What are the borders we have got? We have got, see all of you know that this is the lateral side. This is the medial side. Okay. Now we have got a base. We have got a lateral border. We have got a medial border. Okay. So the base, base is formed by inguinal ligament. Isn't it? So this green color base over here, this is the base. This is the base and base is formed by inguinal ligament. Okay. Now in the same way, we have got lateral border, we have got medial border. Now when I, when I discuss about the lateral border, laterally we have got sartorius muscle. Now you should not just tell that it is a sartorius muscle. Now what you have to do is that, look here, lateral border in turn has got two borders. All of you pay attention here. See this border which I am drawing with the green. This is called as the lateral border of sartorius muscle. And this border which I am drawing with the pink, this is called as the medial border of the sartorius muscle. So exactly speaking, exactly speaking laterally, which part of the sartorius is there? Medial border of the sartorius muscle is present on the lateral side. On the base we have got inguinal ligament and here we have got the medial See, this is the medial side of what? Medial side of or the medial border of the sartorius muscle. Now, if I if I discuss about the adductor longus, so adductor longus muscle also has got two borders, right? Now, look here. This border which I am drawing with the green, this is called as the medial border. And 
this border which I am drawing with the black, this is called as a lateral border. Right? Why lateral? Because it is facing laterally like this. Right? And why this is medial? Because it is facing medial in this way. Right? So overall, if I write down the borders guys, overall if I write down the borders, what will be the borders? So we have got a base, we have got a lateral border and we have got a medial border. Okay. Now, how is base formed by base is formed by inguinal ligament? Inguinal ligament. Okay. Now, how is lateral border formed by laterally? We have got sartorius muscle. Now, within the sartorius muscle, which border is forming the triangle? That is the medial border. Okay. So, laterally, we have got medial border of sartorius. And in the same way, medially we have got lateral border of lateral border of adductor longus, lateral border of adductor longus. Okay, this is the thing. And so this is one very important box which you have to keep in your mind. Okay. Now apart from this box, there is also another important thing that is asked: is what are the what are the uh, structures that are forming the floor? What are the structures that are forming the floor of the inguinal ligament? So, we will discuss the contents later. Okay. First of all, let us see what are the structures that are forming the floor of the inguinal, uh, uh, floor of this femoral triangle. Okay. So, to discuss what are the structures that are forming the floor, you have to know this picture. So, these are the structures that are forming the floor of the femoral triangle. Now, all of you know here, let me highlight all the muscles. So, you know that See, this muscle, whatever is it, this is your sartorius muscle. This is your sartorius muscle. Okay. Now, in the same way, you also know that this green color muscle, whatever is there. See, this green color muscle, whatever is there. Right. This muscle over here, this is called as your adductor longus muscle. Clear. So, this muscle over here is your adductor longus. Now, between sartorius and adductor longus, inside we have got three muscles, right? So these are the three muscles. This is one, this is the second and this is the third muscle. Now all these three muscles, they form the floor of that femoral triangle. Now what are these three muscles? The first muscle, right? The first muscle over here, let me name it here itself. The first muscle is called as iliacus muscle. The first muscle is called as iliacus muscle. Okay, now the second muscle, what is the name of the second muscle? The second muscle is called as psoas major. Psoas major muscle. And finally, we have got the third muscle here, and this is called as pectineous muscle. This is called as a pectineous muscle. So, what are the muscles that are forming the floor? The floor the floor of the femoral triangle floor of the femoral triangle is formed by iliacus psoas major as well as pectineus so this is just an mcq you just have to remember it okay now we are done with the floor we are done with the borders now let us discuss what are the contents within this femoral triangle now within this femoral triangle we have got three important things what are those three important things look here all of you now what are those three important things what are those three important things are laterally here you have got this yellow color thing which i'm drawing i'm not sure but yeah i'll draw it with pink now this thing which you can see here this is called as femoral nerve okay i will draw it clearly but for now just as an introductory part i'm telling you this is femoral nerve after that i have got an artery over here this is called as femoral artery and finally i have got this femoral vein so what are there we have got femoral nerve Laterally, we have got femoral nerve. In the center, we have got femoral artery and medially, we have got femoral vein. Okay. So, contents. We shall be discussing the contents. Now, in the contents, I told you, from lateral to medial, we have got femoral nerve. Okay. We have got femoral artery and we have got femoral vein. Femoral nerve, femoral artery as well as femoral vein. Okay. Now, little more detailed if we go. If we go little more detailed, which is worth discussing here, that 
this is your anterior superior iliac spine pubic crest pubic tubercle and pubic symphysis okay now if we go little more detail what are the structures we can see furthermore okay now look here here i have got my inguinal ligament right this is my inguinal ligament and here i have got a muscle that you call it as sartorius muscle right so this was your sartorius muscle and in the same way here also there was a muscle this is called as adductor longus muscle okay so this was i'm not labeling it again because you might have already known this this is sartorius and this is adductor longus muscle now i have already discussed that we got a nerve like this right so this nerve is called as a femoral nerve next i have got an artery all of you know pay attention all of you pay attention that this is your abdominal aorta what is this this is your abdominal aorta okay abdominal aorta divides into two branches what are these two branches these two are called as common iliac arteries these two are called as common iliac arteries now common iliac arteries in turn branch into two what are those two branches one is called as external iliac another one is called as internal iliac so this is called as your internal iliac internal iliac whereas this is called as your external iliac external iliac now external iliac when do you call it as external iliac you call this branch as external iliac only till the inguinal ligament once this external iliac crosses the inguinal ligament you should now call it as femoral artery so this branch is called as femoral artery okay now what is this called as this is called as femoral artery femoral artery okay next obviously all of you know that we have got a vein like this this is called as femoral vein so i told you that these are the contents but what is the important thing the important thing which you need to know is that look here very carefully now we have got we have got something called as a sheath in this way we have got something called as a sheath in this way okay now this sheath which you can see here right let me make this picture much more clear yeah this sheath which you can see here in which femoral artery and femoral vein are present this sheath is called as femoral sheath what is this sheath called as this is called as femoral sheath okay femoral sheath is having what femoral artery as well as femoral vein these are the two important things which you need to remember very important for your exams okay now look at the same picture i'm not changing this picture again so here there was a nerve that is coming down you told me that the name of this nerve is femoral no okay this is called femoral now and after that we have also discussed that we have got a sheath like this right what was this sheath guys yes what was this sheath basically called as this was called as femoral sheath right so this is called as femoral sheath okay in this femoral sheath i told you we have got femoral artery femoral vein right femoral artery and femoral vein so till here you know, all of you know but if you go little more depth what will happen is that femoral sheath is in turn divided into three compartments okay so for example femoral sheath is in turn divided like this into three compartments now what are those three compartments look here very carefully now this compartment is called as a medial compartment this compartment is called as medial compartment whereas this one is called as the intermediate compartment what is this called as inter mediate compartment so medial compartment intermediate compartment and what will be this thing called as this will be called as lateral compartment okay lateral compartment so we have got three compartments within the femoral sheath lateral intermediate as well as medial compartment now all of you should pay at most attention here femoral artery where is femoral artery femoral artery is in which compartment now 
it is in the lateral compartment of femoral sheath so within the femoral triangle within the femoral sheath within the lateral compartment you have got this artery called as femoral artery next coming to femoral vein where is femoral vein located femoral vein is located in the intermediate compartment all of you should know femoral vein is located within their intermediate compartment okay and what is located in the medial compartment in the medial compartment we have got we have got few lymph nodes these are called as lymph nodes of rosenmuller okay what are these called these are called as lymph nodes of these are called as lymph nodes of rosenmuller or you can also call it as lymph nodes of clocket lymph nodes of clocket okay this is again a very important mcq where is it located not just in femoral triangle it is located in the medial compartment of the femoral sheath okay now are these structures done or is there any other structure so there is one last structure which you need to remember guys look here there is a nerve here okay what is the name of this nerve this is called as genito femoral nerve the name of this nerve is genito femoral nerve now this genito femoral nerve branches into two segments what are these two segments two branches one is called genital branch another one is called as femoral branch so this is called as genital branch this is called as genital branch and the other one is called as femoral branch femoral branch now this is the femoral branch that is coming down all the way along with the femoral artery this femoral branch passes down like this and enters into the lateral compartment and passes along with that okay so this is how the femoral branch is passing down in this way so it will make a small hole like this and finally here femoral branch is here clear